My name's Marian Serena. I'm an artist and a traveler and a lover of all things beautiful. I've been meaning to make a YouTube channel for a couple of years. I've been thinking about it. And then I'm always waiting, waiting for having the right lighting, the right camera, the right this, the right that, the right time, my own personal studio. And I've decided that I'm just starting today. Today is the day to start. And my YouTube channel is going to be about travels that I go on and paintings that I do and other art endeavors that I'm involved in. So today what I'm starting with is just, I think I'll do a little inventory of right around me. I didn't clean up my place here. You can just see the mess that I have around me. And let's just do a little uh, detective work on what kind of a person am I judging by looking around my apartment so let's look right in front of me let's see how see even this how do I <laughs> how do I switch the camera to the other view okay so what do I see well right in front of me I've got a postcard that I made I make house portraits for people and this is a postcard I made to advertise the home and garden portraits and on the back I've got, I enjoy capturing and paint the essence of what you treasure. Here's some more house portraits that I made. And then underneath of this card, I have my placemat. This is a watercolor painting I did once and I turned this watercolor painting into my, into placemats. And if I look around my table, I see art cards that were created by my students last year my elementary school students. These were in grades three and four, I believe. And over here, I see cards that I bought when I lived in Thailand. I was a teacher in Thailand for 13 years, and I loved these cards made by Nancy Chandler. She was an expat and she created artwork. Now here's some artwork made by a Vancouver artist whose name is Hilary Morris. And I am looking forward to having my own line of cards at some point, but I love the work of other people as well. So what other kind of art do I see in my apartment? Well, this placemat underneath of my flowers at the end of my dining room table is a set that I bought in Taiwan at one point. And I love this Asian <clears throat> way of painting grapes. <laughs> That's where I was looking at it. Some are lotus flowers and these are, I believe to be grapes. And I love the watercolor look to those paintings. Beautiful uh, Ben Jarun, it's called, the, the way this pottery is made from Thailand when I lived there. And then we come to this little portrait here that my eight-year-old niece made for me. She hand-stitched that, and I just love it. And if we look on the ground over here, <clears throat> we see the uh, color wheel that I made in a class at Emily Carr a couple of years ago. And then over here, is a uh, painting that my brother and his wife gave me when they were living in Taipei. I have this beautiful art rose. Um, sorry, I'm forgetting the name. <laughs> One of these things you put in the cups and it did crack, but I love it. Beside that is a little painting I did last summer of a pond. A little, I was taking a course in watercolor this is a vase someone gave me, and this horse is a horse that I bought when I was in Thailand. I watched the craft person making this, and it is, you know, a Chinese-looking uh, wild horse, and I just love it. Blown glass. And last night, I was teaching children about color mixing you take the primary colors red yellow and blue and you make the secondary colors uh, purple 
orange and uh, green. And then if you add white, what happens? So we did that. And underneath of that, I made this little tree with snow on it. <clears throat> we were talking about the seasons and the colors. What colors can we use for the different seasons? There's fall. And then what picture can we make? Now, if I look over here on my fridge, there's another card by Hilary Morris. Here's a photograph I took of Long Beach. My three little nieces. And uh, my sister gave me these, saying she these little fridge magnets reminded her of me. So we'll just skip the kitchen, walk over here. And this is a calendar I bought many years ago when I lived in Thailand. And I love the watercolor paintings of this artist. They're just beautiful. Look at the colors. And I used this when I was teaching beginning painters. Um, she's done it in watercolor, but we, we painted in acrylic. So this was one of the inspiration images that we used. Then I just happened to have this on my desk, which is a study in oil of an orange. First we did it in grayscale in the class that I was in, and then we painted it in color. And I really quite like this orange. So when looking at the different things that I just happened to have around me, I'm just noticing more things about myself. This is a little trumpets, trombone statue that my brother gave me. He's a trombonist. CDs. And here's a watercolor painting that I did when I lived in Bangkok. I got very interested. I became very interested in lily pads and uh, the lotus flower because it's very important to Buddhism. And it's also a really beautiful flower. So that was a watercolor painting I did. And over here is a batik. So this painting is created by waxing the lines that you, and the wax acts as a resist. So there was a line of wax here, for instance. So the dye, the color that I put here did not jump over onto the fabric to this side. So the wax lines separate the colors in your picture. And I really like this painting too. And here is my Buddha statue that I bought when I lived in Thailand on top of this beautiful little cabinet, this desk, secretary's desk, which has cards in it. <laughs> so what is my intention in making this YouTube channel? Well, for one thing, it's a way of sharing my art and my travels with other people. But I think more than that, it's, for, it's a vehicle for me personally to create discipline in my life, to create the discipline of a daily practice. If I commit to creating a once a week YouTube video about my practice, then I think it will really help me in uh, having the discipline to do my work daily. And I know that if I paint daily or create art in some way daily, if I walk daily, I will evolve as an artist and I will learn things about myself and about my art that I wouldn't do by, for instance, procrastinating, getting busy, doing other things, waiting for all of these circumstances to be just right. So I invite you to join with me in this adventure that I am putting myself on in discovering who I am as an artist and uh, looking, maybe try looking around your space. I, I firmly believe that everyone can be an artist. And uh, if you look around your space, what are the things you notice about yourself as a creative person? I noticed that I love color, I love peaceful paintings. I love variety. I love other people's work. I love different mediums. Um, I love painting really beautiful things. 
and uh, and I'm learning to paint in a looser style. So anyway, if you're interested, stick with me, and I look forward to creating, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> a video every week. Bye for now. Hi. I just wanted to add that when I filmed the first video a few days ago, I was really tired. I hadn't slept much. Um, I'd just come back from traveling. And I think one of my main points was that when you really want to do something, you just start. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I don't have all the right equipment. I don't even have a tripod for my iPhone camera. That's the only thing that I'm using. But the main thing is I really would like to encourage you if you have a passion or a creative venture that you'd like to go on, just start. Here I am, you know, exposing myself in a very awkward manner uh, when I was way too tired. And today is New Year's Eve 2023. So this is a great time to start. I'm going to post this tomorrow. Happy New Year, everyone. And I'll just end this video with a few clips of the walk I did today, I walked in Queen Elizabeth Park and I saw the sunset, the last sunset of 2023. Happy New Year again. Bye. This is one of my favorite parks in the city. It's called Queen Elizabeth Park and it's built out of an old rock quarry. It's just so beautiful to see this park at all different times of the year. For instance, in the spring, these berms are full. <laughs>